What type gamers, Dreamcast guy here, talking today about Microsoft, because as shocking as this is to say, we could start seeing Xbox games showing up on Nintendo Switch. And yes, this is a real statement backed up by actual evidence. So, over the course of the last 24 hours, we start to hear the first rumblings about GDC, the Game Developers Conference. This is a special convention where all the biggest and best game makers across the entire globe come together to sort of share their secrets, talking about how they made games, what they have coming up, and stuff like that. But during this, there's also something separated that happens, which is a lot of times some very cool secret deals are done, because honestly, it's a good chance to talk to people face to face about some of the things you want to try and carry out. Well, before GDC starts, a lot of times the biggest companies like to publish an itinerary, a schedule, basically an outline of what they're trying to cover while they're there. Well, just last night, we actually saw a new report being published by Microsoft talking about what they wanted to try and do, and it was actually all about Xbox Live. And something they said specifically in their notes is that they want to try and put Xbox Live on everything. And yes, I literally mean everything, including stuff like cell phones. Like, so I'm totally broke, I'm a total cheapo, this is like my terrible prepaid phone, they want to put Xbox Live on this, they want to put it on Apple devices, and they also want to put it on the Nintendo Switch. And yes, I'm being totally serious, they mentioned it specifically by name. So what is the greater implication of this? Well, it shows the fact that Microsoft is definitely past the idea of consoles. Now, some people get extremely mad when people say stuff like that, but even the absolute best people who work in the Xbox business, they cover Xbox news, even they are starting to admit that. This is Jez Corden. He is a an amazing writer, somebody I greatly respect, and even he is talking about the fact that we're just getting to the point where Microsoft isn't concerned with having a big box in your house. Instead, they just want to have their games everywhere. Everywhere is just what they want. As long as they can sell 80 million copies of Halo, that is more important to them than trying to have 80 million Xboxes. Now, the reason I find this so fascinating is because it's really showing that we're seeing the power struggle before consoles start to break down. Everything is becoming more about just how much money you can earn. And to be quite honest, I think that this is going to be a very cool thing very soon. I mean, I'm just going to throw out my theory right here, I fully believe that within the next couple months, we could start seeing some full-blown Xbox games announced for the Nintendo Switch, maybe even at E3, and I'm talking about more than just Minecraft. I'm talking about things like Cuphead. I fully expect that to be on the Switch relatively soon, or things like Ori, because those are things that are super, super stylized, and to be quite honest, already fit the aesthetic of the Switch. People would buy those things up like crazy. To Microsoft at this point, that's just free money, and that's all they really care about. Now, I don't mean that in a negative way, but Microsoft Microsoft in general is a massive, massive corporation that has literally made hundreds of billions of dollars. But the way they make their money is in a lot of different ways. They sell cell phones, they sell tablets, they sell computers and computer systems. Like, obviously, I'm recording this right now. This audio is being recorded on a Windows PC. This is how they make their billions. The console division has always been a tiny experiment, something that they've produced for fun, but they don't really care about. The main point of trying to have the Xbox division is as a way to try and get more people to think about Microsoft and think about how important and powerful they are. It makes them stronger to even have the Xbox exist, while it's not really a main priority. I just want to say that I do not think that they will ever fully discontinue the Xbox. Instead, I think that its prioritization is just going to change, and it's going to be one of those things where you'll be able to play Xbox games anywhere with the Play Anywhere system, but simultaneously, if you want, there will be a box. There will always be an Xbox, something you could purchase and play in case you want to just have the very easy streamlined experience, like me. You guys know I am a huge console gamer, and I very much love my Xbox. I love the fact that I can just 
pick up this controller right here and start playing stuff immediately. The Xbox store is really good. The Xbox community is really, really tight. So it's great that it just is here and exists already. But I think that Microsoft themselves they're in a different phase as a company. It sort of reminds me, I used to have this roommate a bunch of years ago who was a little bit of a strange guy. I mean, this dude would like wander around the house at night wearing glasses and stuff, and he would actually go into the refrigerator a lot of times and eat my food. He hated it. He would eat like my veggie hot dogs and stuff. And the reason he was doing it wasn't because he wanted the food, but because he wanted to try and take something away from me. And I think that's in a way, Microsoft is trying to do this. They're not really concerned with, uh, well, the sales of something like Cuphead or Halo. Instead, what they're trying to do is take away some of the power from Sony. By consolidating their own might, they're just going to be a bigger and better weapon in the future. I mean, the next console generation is obviously coming very, very soon, and Microsoft is going to be trying an all-new, unprecedented tactic, which is when the Xbox 2 launches, I think that it's going to be playable on a lot of different systems. Now, that sounds shocking, but what I'm really saying is I do believe that the next generation of Xbox games will probably be playable on an Xbox One X. I also think that there will be special versions that run specifically on PC. I also think they'll try and just basically make it where their stuff is everywhere. I also think they'll definitely have a thing where if you have super, super fast internet, you'll be able to stream some of their games directly to any handheld device. You'll be able to, if you want, play a game with touch controls on an iPad. Because all that really matters to Microsoft at the end of the day is concurrent numbers. How many people are logging into Xbox Live? How many people are interacting with our systems? That is what they really want, and I think that it's something that could very well work out with them. What really gets me the most excited personally, though, is just seeing more Microsoft stuff spread out. I actually think that some Microsoft games are super, super good. Like, earlier I mentioned Cuphead. Cuphead is seriously one of my favorite Microsoft games ever, and even though it wasn't made directly by Microsoft Studios, it's owned by them. It was finished because of their funding. I would love if more people got to play that. It is such a freaking challenging masterpiece. Put it everywhere. Make it so everybody in the world has a chance to die as many times as I did and play some co-op and get a chance to really see how good this is. And additionally, what's super cool about this is that I do believe that it's going to lead to more cool sequels because at this point, if that thing sold 5 million copies on Xbox, 10 million copies on Steam, and then we suddenly see it sell an additional... 40 million copies on Nintendo Switch, those games are going to start seeing more sequels, more follow-ups, more cool spin-offs, more DLC, more ways to people to just play stuff. I mean, that is why games like Celeste or Wargroove are really interesting to me, because those were created by very, very tiny teams, and so because of it, as soon as they got even the smallest amount of hype, they managed to pay back their budget. They are able to fund the next project and do the next thing, and honestly try to do even bigger and better stuff stuff. This is a very interesting time, and I just want to say that I do think that it is fully, fully possible that we start seeing some really wild stuff. I actually do predict that we could see something like another Banjo-Kazooie showing up on Nintendo Switch. I do think we could see Master Chief showing up in Smash. I do fully believe the fact that there could be something as crazy as maybe the Xbox Live Party system comes over to Switch, and we actually get voice chat via Microsoft. These things are no longer impossible. They are actually on the table. And more and more, that impresses me, because it shows that Microsoft, they just want to innovate. They just want to make games, and they just want to make us happy. While they are still churning out some absolute duds like Crackdown 3, they are still trying to do the daring stuff that, frankly, nobody else can afford to do. But what do you really think about all this? Do you really believe that it's possible that we could start seeing a bunch of Xbox games showing up everywhere? Or do you think that, for at least a while, they're going to try and stay centered on their own hardware, or at least their own PCs? I know a lot of Microsoft people are upset that so many games are coming to cross-play, but I think that this is a good thing. For the developers, for the studios, people are going to be a lot more willing to do a lot more weird games if they know that they have a lot more people who might buy it. Thanks so much for watching, gamers. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all and keep dreaming. 
Hey, do me a favor, go follow me on Twitter. I actually just passed 9,000 followers on Twitter, and uh, I would like to try and get to 10,000. There's a link in the description. Bye! Oh, you can hear all these trucks driving past. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last, or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.